Now, this might not come as a surprise, but I'm not actually on the moon right now. And depending who you ask, neither was this guy. That's Neil. Some people believe Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were actually on a film set, perhaps directed by Stanley Kubrick as part of an elaborate NASA plan to fake beating the Russians in the space race. Here are some of the better known conspiracy theories about the moon landing. The first theory goes like this. If Neil Armstrong was the first person on the moon, why was there a camera there already? Here's why. The footage of that small step actually came from a camera mounted on the side of the lunar module. And the footage you see of an astronaut stepping down a ladder isn't Armstrong at all. It's actually Buzz Aldrin, filmed by Armstrong, who had another camera mounted to his suit. We copy you down, Eagle. Beautiful view. Another theory is that if this was really shot in outer space, then... The pitch black sky rouses suspicion for some people. It was daytime on the moon and the ground was brightly lit. In those conditions, even here on Earth, a camera's aperture and shutter speed would have to be adjusted to capture the foreground, which means anything faint in the background just disappears. There's no atmosphere on the moon, but again, science comes to the rescue. For a start, there's a rod running along the top of the flag, which allows it to stand perpendicular to the flagpole. And video from the moon shows the flag only moves when it's touched. And because of the lack of air resistance, it takes some time to stop moving. Look, it's true. The shadows in some photographs do appear to be cast at different angles. Okay, that looks good there, Neil. And that proves, according to the truthers at least, that there were different sources of light on the surface of the moon. More like what you'd have in a film studio. But the reality is an uneven surface and a low sun can distort the angles of shadows. Cool. The non-believers say that proves it's a prop. It's true that in one shot you can see the letter C marked on the surface of a rock. I say that the rocks are rather slippery. But it doesn't appear on any of the original NASA negatives, just the reproductions. So the explanation is that the C might be a hair or a rogue fiber that contaminated a reproduction and that then went around the globe. Neil, yes, we are getting a TV picture. There are countless more theories posed by those who just refuse to believe, including a woman from Western Australia who says she saw a Coke bottle rolling across the surface of the moon in the original broadcast. For some reason, the rest of the world just missed it. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage. These theories are good for a bit of amusement, but there's a serious side too. Hey, come for some flight out here. In an age where conspiracy theories and accusations of fake news have become so normalized, it makes facts debatable and history questionable. That's not a giant leap to make.